What is up guys, can you believe that a three-year-old phone can still run almost the most updated version of Android? This is just really cool guys. This is the Nexus One uh, Developer Edition, actually, I really like that. Uh, if you scan this QR code then it will bring you to Android.com, that's pretty cool. But there's really nothing else special about it, it's just the back cover. You can always pop this off and replace it. But yeah, this is the Nexus One running Android 4.1.2 Jelly Beans, so not Android 4.2 yet, but I'm sure the developers can get their hands on that very soon. So basically, as you can see, we have normal Android 4.1, and I do have a battery issue still. My replacement battery hasn't come in, if you subscribers are wondering. But I did manage to get it to work, and I'm going to tell you guys how I got it to work. And first off, big thanks to Zane. Um, otherwise known as Droid Modder, he's the leader of the Droid Syndicate team that I'm a part of. Uh, basically, he just told me that I need to install CM7, CM9, and then jump over to CM10. So that's what I did, and it worked perfectly fine. But before I do that, I actually did have to go into my HBoot and edit my partition size for my system. I had to make it uh, 220 before it was on 145. So that got it to work. That allowed me to install CM9. But basically if we go to system settings and if we go to storage, you can see here that I only have 25 megabytes of internal storage left. And that's really the, on the only downfall of the Nexus One's internal storage. Uh, yeah, it sort of sucks because I can't install Google Chrome even though it's only 18 megabytes, it still won't let me. It just says insufficient storage space. But luckily I do have an app to SD app that it makes it really easy to uh, switch apps over to my external SD. Too bad I only have a 2 gig uh, external SD card though, I might as well pick up a 32 gig while I'm at the store next time or something. But yeah guys, I just wanted to do a little walkthrough on it for those of you who just want to see it on this collectible device, or if you just want to uh, actually flash this ROM. So yeah, let's go ahead and go to settings here, let's go to about phone. It's relatively smooth, I know like for 1 gigahertz processor and for it being not an official ROM, it's very smooth, so I really can't complain. As you can see, we got our little tech specy here, and if we go to Android version, we got our Jelly Bean Easter egg, as you all know of, and we'll back out of this, and we'll go ahead and look at uh, some of the settings. Of course you have developer options and performance, but that's not the goodies with CM10. You of course get lock screen, launcher, themes, and system settings. So in the system, you can edit all the normal CM10 settings. I'm not going to go through all the settings right now. I'm just going to show you what's available right now with this build. You get some themes, uh, only the system theme, of course. You can install other themes via apk.zip, Play Store, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff. Lock screen stuff, you can edit the owner info. So let's say you want to type in Nexus uh, 1, or let's do it letter to be more official. And then you just want to get out of this, then run me locker device and unlock it. Uh, it says Nexus 1 right up there. I think it might say it down here, but since I have no SIM card, it's not showing it down there. But yeah, that's that's just some lock screen stuff. And of course you get launcher with uh, Trebuchet settings, and yeah, it's pretty cool. But anyways, guys, this is all I really want to show you. I just want to show you that I got it running, and that I'm no longer having uh, ROM issues on it. But yeah, I'm really excited. As you can see, I have a I actually haven't tried out Google now yet, so let's go ahead and see. What should I ask? What was the Easter egg that was going on? Ah, uh, what was it? What was it? Oh my gosh, what makes you feel good? I think it was that. What makes me feel good? No, it's not that. I don't know, it was something um, something that was really funny. It was like an Easter egg, but I'm not sure. It was like, I, I know that there was the giraffe one, but I don't know. There was one that had to do with feeling good, and then it would come back with a really funny response. But yeah, guys, sorry for that little nonsense there. But yeah, this is Android 4.1 on the Nexus One. And just to put it out there, I think that the developers are doing an awesome job 
with developing for this phone. I know in my Nexus One Issues video, I did say that the developers uh, were not supporting as much, but as of recent experience, trust me, they are supporting this phone still. Like, it's the new Galaxy S4 or something. It's really awesome. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you'd like more videos on this, like, if you actually have a Nexus One, then please let me know in the comments, and I'll start making more videos on this. Um, this is probably the only video that I'm going to make if you guys don't want me to make more because I know that this phone is three years old and it's more of a collectible item than an actual daily device. So I guess thanks for watching once again and I will talk to you all later.